go as far as the market is concerned. The uh, MPC was the big elephant in the room yesterday and it's going to be the big elephant in the room as we move ahead into the trading uh, month and the quarter until we have the next MPC. Then we'll have a bit of a reading of how they decided last week the, the thinking of the new MPC members and those who already exist. And about nine members voted unanimously yesterday to keep all rate parameters unchanged and the analysis are just getting started over the last 24 hours. So let's take this a bit to the consumer's market. And it all boils down to some of the conversations and comments in Governor uh, Emifile's uh, uh, reading of the communique of the team of the committee yesterday. Let's uh, go straight down to uh, Channel's Global Headquarters studios in Lagos, where Adimo Kwesa is joining us from Financial Derivatives Company, a member of the a research uh, team down there. Adim, good morning. It's good to have you on the program. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let, let's get this. Um, okay, let, let's get this started. Uh, what's the thinking yesterday uh, in your team as soon as those announcements were made by the central bank governor on behalf of the rest of his team? that all rates remain unchanged? Well, I think the MPC, MPC's decision in illustrates risk aversion and caution in preference to stimulus. I think some stakeholders of the, of the economy be, will be pleased with this decision. For example, foreign investors will be happy that rates are still high. But for the consumers like us, yes, and indicators have improved consistently since for the last 12 months, but we are yet to feel the impact because of the fragile nature of the economy. The CBN governor noted this improvement and said that it will continue to intervene in specific sectors of the economy. We expect agriculture to be one of those sectors and manufacturing and also SMEs. But what about the other sectors of the economy that are on the upturn, that are on the rise, and also employ a lot of people? Sectors like film, like arts, like tourism, other, so many other sectors. So we need a, a, a formal shift to send a signal to, to banks so that they can also reduce their own commercial lending rates and lend to other sectors in the economy. Yes, Adim, and I'm sure uh, you've uh, taken, you listened yesterday uh, to uh, the uh, governor's reading. And let me just uh, bring this back up. And uh, if you listen uh, when we started the show, uh, the committee asking the government to reduce its aggregate spending or expenditure in, via FAC distribution, which is the monthly uh, 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 sharing of money, as it were, uh, in order to create savings needed to stabilize the economy. Do you think if we do these small savings, how do we take that to the consumers? Well, by reducing FAC, you're also controlling that aspect of inflation. You're you're limiting money supply-induced inflation, which is the mandate of the CBN to, to maintain price stability and exchange rate stability. So that would be a welcome development if inflation comes down to a certain... Um, but that is another issue with the CBN's decision now. There was no guidance. If inflation comes down to... What, at what level do we want to see inflation that they will begin cutting rates? For example, now in the U.S. Federal Reserve, they give forward guidance. They say we would cut rates at least two times in, 27, in 2018, X amount of times in 2019, if inflation gets to this certain point, if wage growth gets, gets to this certain point. We are yet to see that. So if inflation goes on the opposite trajectory now, the CBN will have no scope or limited scope to, to reduce interest rates. So by reducing the amount of FAC that is being monetized would control money supply inflation. So that will be a welcome development. Yes. Okay, let's take this very quickly uh, to uh, the FTC's burning economic mm. issues. What, what are some of these uh, issues that you think, if you put that through straight on, on your on service screen for our viewers to, to follow us uh, on these uh, bullet points as you folks uh, put them together, uh, that do you think fall within this conversation? Let, let, let's look at that, and we've just been chewing around the monetary parameters left unchanged yesterday. Uh, let's go down a little bit, a little bit into the uh, discussion around the, 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 the electricity uh, power as a major conversation in this uh, discussion. 
Yes, going through those issues, the market priced in, there was no significant change in monetary indices. The market priced it in. The market, stock market lost less, a bit, 0.3%. The Naira was flat. But good news, cocoa prices, major commodity prices are increasing. Our top three foreign exchange earners, that is oil, cocoa, and LNG, are all, are all on the upturn this morning. Cocoa prices have been increasing by about 20, 30% over last years because we're seeing a supply deficit in major producers. LNG price is also increasing because there's also increased global demand and oil is on the upturn because we saw record lower, OPEX production declined to, a, to, a, to an 11 month low in, in February. So we're also on the good news. That was also good news. And also power, power is up. Power has been consistently above 4,000 megawatts over the past four or five weeks. The average in Q117 was a little above 3,800 megawatts. So we're on, that is also a kind of, that's also a welcome the development. Power is, power output center from the, from the national grid is, is, on the, is on the rise. So that is good news for commodities. And yes, uh, yes, uh, I was speaking to uh, electricity there. Well, I'm, I'm sure we're going to, uh, this is one, uh, one of the areas in which the, uh, the current administration is beating its chest. We got uh, a very one-to-one uh, -one interview, checking in with the, uh, the power works and housing minister, uh, about today, Fashola, yesterday, and, and of course we have that interview coming uh, on the program this morning, and he spoke to about what's been done in power and other infrastructure. So let, let's leave, have that conversation there. But if you go to uh, what's good news and what is not so good news, uh, on the not so, your list of not so good news on, uh, from FDC is the emerging market uh, reactions to these trade spats between China uh, and the U.S. But let's go to what is good uh, in the news. Let's bring that uh, on screen right now and take us through how the central bank will be 